I definitely wouldn't recommend doing cold outreach or link building manually. It's time consuming and you don't have to. That's why there are services like auto links. This is what I'm going to show you. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George and this is Ask Master. We're going to talk about auto links. And one of the cool features that I like about it is their AI implementation. So when you are sending email campaigns through auto links, it's going to use the AI feature to create unique emails for each one of the recipients. That means that it's not a random template, just replacing variables with the company and the name. No, this is unique emails using AI. So it's a better way to reach your customers or potential exchange of links. So it's a much better way to do it. All right. So let's go jump over to my dashboard. And this is auto links. The first thing I recommend if you plan to send out email campaigns through auto links is obviously add your email account first. I'll show you that in a bit. So let's get started with the keyword feature. So that means that I can add keywords to potential people that I want to outreach companies per se. For example, if I'm a coffee business and I'm selling coffee beans, I want to have potential coffee shops. So for example, if I add specialty coffee shops, so these are keywords and I can add more and I can have a list of this. And the idea is that it's going to automatically find, depending on the SERP location that I select, the number of results It's going to find for me potential emails that I can contact with. All right. So let's get started. Project name. I'll just say coffee for this. And then the SERP location. There's all the locations available. I'll keep it United States. Number of results for testing purposes. I'll just select 10 and I have the option to ignore domains. That means, for example, I do not want to contact Starbucks, for example. I mean, these guys are not going to buy coffee for me, depending if a small time or something like that. And you can add more here. For example, maybe um, Facebook, Quora, something like that. You don't want to find emails there. You can add a bunch of lists there. So it's really useful to avoid getting emails from these sections, right? And then filter using keywords. So you can add some small phrase or keywords here that are going to be needed to be found on these uh, coffee shops. For example, I don't know. If you are in California, if you are somewhere, maybe you want to find a uh, coffee shop in California or something like that. So let me go ahead and add something here, coffee shop. And then what I really love about auto links is the craft personalized AI emails. Like I said, these are going to be custom emails for each one of the recipients. It's not a single template replacing variables. They are unique emails, right? So here we got to give it some information. I am going to keep it really basic, but the more information you add, the better the emails are going to be. So what is your offer? In this case, I'm offering coffee beans. All right. Next one is what do you want? So I want to find coffee shops. OK, and then your background. So that's me. I'm going to introduce my coffee shop brand and my experience with it. All right. So let me go ahead and add that here. Here we go. So I've just added a quick background. If you can check it out here, it's like it's my name, my coffee brand. I've been established since uh, 2020, 2020 and I sell coffee to over 100 shops. All right. So just an idea of how you can use this. Like I said, the more information you add, the better the AI emails is going to write. All right. So writing style is going to be professional, witty, conversational, precise. I'm going to do conversational and the tone of voice, first person, second person or third person. So in this case, I am introducing myself. Like I said, I am Jorge and this is my coffee brand. So I am going to do it this way. So let's go ahead and find the leads and it's going to generate those leads over here in history. So I'm going to find them here in leads and you can see credits blocked right here. It's 180 and it's processing. Uh, it blocks a certain amount of credits and then it deducts only the, from the emails found. So if the email is not found, it's not going to deduct the credit. So don't worry about that. All right. So let's give it a few seconds for this one to be finished and we'll come back to it. So that's for finding leads. You also have the option for article URLs. Now, this is a great way if you want to link build, for example, that also works in keywords because you can find potential keywords and on the message, personal message, you could say that's what you're looking for. You're going to pay $10 for each link that they implement, etc. in the craft personalized email, right? So in this section, we can add a bunch of URLs up to 50 URLs in this case. And again, project name, serve location, the ignore domains, filter domains and we can start our craft personalized emails. So basically the same concept, but instead of keywords, we are using links. All right. So it's a great way to do it. And you can also do specific URLs again, same concept, but with specific URLs. So it's a great way to do it. And if you want to send out emails, you can start a new email campaign from here. So for example, you name your campaign, you upload a CSV and you can do a follow up sequence. So add three follow ups with this one. Select the email account. Obviously, like I said, you add it first. That's why it's appearing here. 
and the daily set limit. So maybe you don't want to go all out crazy daily. Just do 10 or maybe 50, 150, depending on the plan that you have for your emails so you don't get into the spam folder. So do consider the daily sending limit, all right? So let's see if history is now ready. Let's see the leads. Okay, let's see the leads right here. So let's go ahead and open this up, save it. Let me go ahead and open it up. And let's see how many emails we found. Remember, we only asked for 10, so there shouldn't be a lot here. Okay. So in this one, I just found one. Here's the email. That means only one credit is going to be deducted. All right. So not to worry about them finding a, a bunch of uh, information here. It only counts when the email is found. And then the email that it's going to write is over here. So here's the email. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here we go. And remember, it's one email. The email subject. Remember, here's my coffee brand, Cafecios Quality Beans. And this is a custom email. You can see it's mentioning that I have over 100 shops that been serving over 100 shops since 2020 are focused on providing high quality coffee beans, etc. So each one of these emails is going to be different and tailored to the brand that it's going to find. So it's not going to be a single template, just replacing some variables. So this is way better than what you get with other services. All right. So it's a great idea to use this. All right. So that's for the leads. And there's also campaigns. So when you send out campaigns, you're going to be able to view them here and you can see the name, the send, pending and felt, follow up, pause or review and actions. Everything's going to be here once you start sending out your campaigns. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, the first thing you want to do when you get started is add your email accounts. In this case, I've connected mine already, but it's super simple with the details that you need to connect your email here. You can do that, add it here and test the email, make, making sure that everything's working fine and then start using auto links. So it's extremely easy to use. And like I mentioned before, my favorite feature for this is the AI implementation. I hate it when it's just, you know, it's a template when they are sending it out because it's kind of, you know, it's random and they're just replacing your name or company name to send out emails. In this case, it's totally different. Each one of these emails and they are unique. Plus they are based on the information that you provide. Remember in the craft personalized emails, if this is if you write really good information here, you are going to spit out fantastic emails. So go ahead and check out all the links, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.